CNMI Congressman Greg Kalili Sablon says the military should clean up after itself and Congress should pay what it takes to get the job done in the Commonwealth, Guam and elsewhere. But Channel 2 Washington correspondent Matt Kaye reports Sablon pressed the issue just so far in Florida Base this week. Sablon started out offering a $21 million increase above a committee passed bill for DOD cleanup of its facilities, chemicals, and munitions under the formerly used Defense Sites or FUDS program. But he withdrew the amendment after the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee added $25 million above the President's request of $204 million. Still not what Sablon wanted, but an improvement. Having secured as much as he felt he could from Republicans, Sablon withdrew the amendment, but stressed he was making a point. But I want to make the point that we ought to keep funding at the same level we appropriated in fiscal 2015, $250 million. And that is what my amend amendment would do. Because now is not the time for the military to backslide on its cleanup. There are 5,000 sites in every state and territory that we know are contaminated. And these sites are not in someone else's backyard. They're in Sablon's backyard as well. And in my district, I represent the Northern Mariana Islands. There are 24 contaminated areas dating back to World War II, still waiting to be cleaned up. For example, 17 rusted fuel tanks in the little village of Tanopak, leaking oil into the ground since Harry Truman was president. And every day, kids walking by to school, fishermen in the lagoon just a few feet away, families living with the smell of oil in their homes. And Sablon added, it's not just an environmental issue. The military buildup in the Marianas would mean more fuel in other facilities and live fire training. And the people I represent are saying no to this expanded military activity. Now, restoring FOTS funding will not change anyone's mind about the military's proposed buildup in my district. But at least the military will have a little more credibility when it promises that it will clean up after itself. Because if the people I represent see Congress, Cutting funds for FOTS does the military promise us no credibility at all. Sablon points out the Army Corps of Engineers estimates total costs of $14 billion. So 50 years from now, Sablon says we will still be having the same discussion. With that, Sablon withdrew his amendment. Separately, the House defeated a Sablon amendment to the DOD spending bill to require that the Secretary of Defense reach agreement with the NMI government on expanded military activities. That, before Congress, okays funding. Pointing to DOD's proposed takeover of Pagan, Sablon insisted the NMI government must consent first before DOD expands use of public lands in the Commonwealth but local consultation and congressional and presidential approval are already required in current law. Sablon's amendment died 173 to 256. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for KSPN Channel 2 News.